Today we were in the garden. Mum was painting a picture of the flowers. Jemima was reading a book about ballet, and I was playing trains with Grandpa. Dad was in the bike shop. He was very busy sending out orders of Mr. Mentor the Inventor's latest invention. Now, Mr. Mentor the Inventor lives in the lighthouse in Sunny Sands. He's always coming up with really crazy inventions, like this. The grassy buggle jumper. Only the bugs liked it even more than he did. Then there's this, the automatic hairostatic that gives you a new hairstyle every day. And this, the huffer puffer pillow fluffer. Everyone loves going to visit him in the lighthouse and trying things out. And he likes trying out other people's inventions too. And now he had invented these. Mr. Mentor calls it the Brilioso Bicycle Bell. Mr. Mentor doesn't just invent things; he invents words as well. Every Brilioso Bicycle Bell had a funny ring. And of all the bells in the bike shop, there were no two rings the same. I wonder if there's a Brilioso bicycle bell that goes wah 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 wah. Yes, or 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 <laughs> just then, Mr. Like a Biker arrived on his way to the beach. Mr. Like a Biker, I'm sorry I didn't see you there. You'll have to excuse us. We were pretending to be Brilioso bicycle bells. <laughs> Brilioso bicycle bells. Mr. Mentor's latest invention. Every bell makes a different sound. Oh, I like a bell with a resounding ring. Well, the bike shop's full of them. You can take your pick. Oh, I will. I'll go there right now. <laughs> Maybe not right now, Mr. Like a Biker. Dad's really busy. Everybody wants bells, and he's sending out orders. Then the sooner I get there, the better. He might sell out. Oh, excuse me. Before we could stop him, Mr. Like a Biker was gone. I think I'll just go for a little lie down. I knew what Grandpa was thinking. I followed him inside. If Mr. Like a Biker is going to be choosing bells, then Dad is going to need my help. You're not the shrinking cup, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all sorts of magical things. Grandpa. He can take off in my plane. He can get in my car and make it go. He can chuff around in our Sunny Sands train. And this time, he decided to fly on Gordon, my toy seagull. I'm the only one who knows about Grandpa's magic shrinking cap, and nobody else must find out. I didn't like Grandpa going to the bike shop by himself. I needed to go too. And make sure he didn't get into trouble. Mum, perhaps I should go to the bike shop and help Dad. Well, there's no need, Jason. He said he'd be better off without us. There was nothing I could do. I just had to leave it to Grandpa. Wait! Look out, Gordon! Have you got any particular ring in mind? <laughs> Not really. I thought I'd try them all and then make my mind up. You want to try them all? Yeah. Careful! Some of those bells are already saved for customers. <laughs> Luckily, Mr. Like a Biker and Dad were so busy looking at the bells that they didn't see Grandpa <laughs> flying in or landing or running. <laughs> <laughs> or hiding behind a row of puncture repair kits. Ah! <laughs> Ooh! Now well, that is a good one. Yeah. Dad was never going to finish sending out his order at this rate. Grandpa needed to get Mr. Like a Biker away from the Brilioso bicycle bells. The problem was how, and then he remembered. It's not just bells, Mr. Like a Biker likes. Oh, I like a bike with silver trim. Oh, I like a saddle with comfy padding. Oh, I like a helmet with sparkly stars on it. 
Mr. Like a Biker likes everything to do with cycling. Grandpa was running along the top shelf. If he could get Mr. Like a Biker interested in something else, then Dad could get on with packing up the bells. First, he tried to get him interested in cycling shorts. Oh, are those cycling shorts? Oh, let me see. <laughs> oh, yes, I like a pair of shorts with extra stretch. <laughs> now, those bells. Then, Grandpa tried to get him interested in a cycling top. Oh, is that a cycling top? <laughs> oh, yes, I like a top with a nice long zipper. <laughs> well, why don't you try them on? Take as long as you like. You. Now Mr. Like a Biker had something to try on, Dad could go back to sorting out the bells. Grandpa's plan was working. But it wasn't working for long. Oh, it's a bit tight around the arms. That's because you've still got your armbands on. What? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, so I have. <laughs> I thought I was looking a bit muscly. <laughs> Help Dad, Mum, please! He doesn't need any help, Jason. I'm sure he's doing absolutely fine. I had a nasty feeling that he wasn't doing absolutely fine. And I was right. <laughs> no, 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 don't. No, no, that's so no, 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 really. No, no, please. Well, that one, Mr. Like Liker Biker was messing everything up. Grandpa had to do something. <laughs> How did that happen? Oh, I don't know. It's almost as if they're saying, come over here, come over here. <laughs> oh, I like a roaring tiger, 85642. Well, please take a long look at it. Oh, thanks, I will. Oh, yes. I'll take it. And as I'm buying a roaring tiger, 85642, I should have a bell that goes raw. <laughs> uh, I think that one's already been sold. Oh. Look, I've got to go print some more sticky labels. Would you mind waiting until I get back? Oh, no worries. I'll go and look for one myself. No, 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 no. Please, just wait. Don't touch anything. Right. OK. I won't. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. So Dad went out the back to print off some more labels, leaving Mr. Like a Biker alone in the bike shop. At least he thought he was alone. Grandpa knew Mr. Like a Biker wouldn't be able to keep his hands off the bells for long. <laughs> Grandpa ran towards the shelf of maps and travel books. He hid behind them and started to push them off. Oh, I like to know how to get from A to B. I wonder what other maps there are. Any moment, Mr. Like a Biker was going to see Grandpa. Grandpa made a quick getaway and jumped in the bag. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay, Mr. Like a Biker? Oh, I like a map of sunny sands and surrounding areas. Excellent. <laughs> well, perhaps you'd like to take your new bike and your new map and go for a ride. Oh, you just try and stop me. But all I need now is a new bell. Oh, it's so hard to choose. I think I'd better listen to them all again. No, no, no. Tell you what, Mr. Like a Biker, let me choose for you. Oh, all right. I've got one here that makes the perfect sound for you. Oh, all right. Oh! Oh, I like a bell that goes, oh. I thought you might. Yeah. Why don't you take it, huh? show Jemima and Jason. And Dad hey, put Miss Like a Biker's bell into the bag that Grandpa was in. Right. Yes, thank you. <laughs> the good news was, Miss Like a Biker had finally left the bike shop. The bad news was, so had Grandpa. I'm back! And guess what I got? A Brilioso Bicycle Bell! I thought you might. Yeah. Would you like to hear it? He was just about to open it when we all heard this. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa makes a noise just like that. If Mr. Like a Biker opened the bag, then everyone would see Grandpa. <laughs> Don't worry, I can help. I whipped the bell out of the bag and handed it go. to Mr. Like a Biker. It looks fine to me, Mr. Like a Biker. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> While the others were all having fun with the bell, do you want to go? Oh, yes. <laughs> I dashed inside with Grandpa in the bag. At last, it was safe for Grandpa to come out. Grandpa! Ooh, that was close. Cap off, Grandpa, quick! Well done for getting Mr. Like a Biker out of the shop. And well done for you getting me out of the bag. Teamwork, eh? Teamwork. <laughs> Later, Mr. Like a Biker went off for a ride around Sunny Sands. And Dad came back home. I managed to get all my orders done, even with Mr. Like a Biker in the shop. You see, Jason, I told you Dad would be better off without any of us there. There was no need to worry. Oh, no, never any need to worry. <laughs>